anyone who believes in democracy has a high regard for the wisdom of the masses. Greeley, however, is an elitist who believes that any artwork that is popular is unlikely to be good. Thus, Greeley does not believe in democracy. The conclusion follows logically if which one of the following is assumed. So before I even look at this, let's just try to deconstruct what this what the author is trying to say because it it it, it does seem to jump make a pretty big logical leap. So even if you accept what they're saying, this first statement, anyone who believes in democracy has a high regard for the wisdom of masses. So they're saying anyone who believes in democracy, well they're going to be a subset of the people who have a high regard for the wisdom of masses. So let's say these are the folks who believe in democracy. believes in democracy. So let's say that circle is all of the people who believe in democracy. And they're saying anyone who believes in democracy has a high regard for the wisdom of the masses. So anyone who believes in de- democracy has a high regard for the wisdom of masses. So that means that all of these people have to have a high regard for the wisdom of the masses. Now they're not saying that everyone with a high regard for the wisdom of the masses believes in democracy. So maybe the people with a high regard for the wisdom of masses is a, is a superset. So high regard for mass wisdom. For mass wisdom. So anyone who believes in democracy will also be in the set of people who have a high regard for mass wisdom. So then they go to talk about Greeley. Greeley, however, is an elitist who believes that any artwork that is popular is unlikely to be good. So their statement, they're making the statement about Greeley, and they're saying that he's an elitist, so they're first of all they're just calling him a name, but then they say who believes that any artwork that is popular, so popular popular art if he sees or she, I don't know if Greeley's a he or she, but Greeley if they see popular art then they think it unlikely to be good unlikely unlikely good and obviously these are all things that someone else is saying is true about Greeley but even if you accept all this they then make this conclusion or the statement thus Greeley does not believe in democracy which feels like a bit of a jump Greeley does not believe in democracy so something about this red this red statement about Greeley somehow in this author's mind definitively puts Greeley either definitely not in this circle one someone who does not believe in democracy so either in this one where Greeley maybe has a high regard for mass wisdom but does not believe in democracy or is even sitting out here someone who does not have a high regard for mass wisdom well then they're definitely not going to believe in democracy so somehow they're trying to connect someone who thinks that if art is popular it's unlikely good to sitting in one of these places where you wouldn't believe in democracy. So let's see if any of these key assumptions could help us there. And one way to imagine is test if this was part of the original statement whether it would make a little bit more logical sense. So let's see, part or choice A. Anyone who believes that an artwork is unlikely to be good if it is popular is an elitist. Well no, this would just justify the name calling that they're saying where they're saying you know why they're calling Greeley an elitist, but it doesn't back up this connection where if someone believes that something is popular it's unlikely to be good that that is somehow connecting to someone who does not believe in democracy. This is just justifying calling someone an elitist. So I'd rule that one out. Anyone who believes that a, that if an artwork is popular is unlikely to be good and they're saying that that is true of Greeley, well, that's this red part right over here. does not have a high regard for the wisdom of the masses. So if if this is assumed, if choice B here is assumed, then this statement about Greeley which the passage does make, it would it puts Greeley on this dot right over here outside of the set of people who have a high regard of mass for the masses. And if someone does not have a high regard for mass wisdom, then they for sure are not going to believe in democracy. And so you this choice is actually looking pretty good. If we added this to our original passage, the passage would make a little bit more sense. Let's try that out. Anyone who believes in democracy has a high regard for the wisdom of the masses. Greeley, however, is an elitist who believes that any artwork that is popular is unlikely to be good. Anyone who believes that if an artwork is popular is unlikely to be good. does not have a high regard for the wisdom of the masses. And so if they don't have a high regard for the wisdom of the masses, then they're definitely not going to be 
in this orange set, which means that they're for sure not going to be in this blue set that believes in democracy. So I definitely like choice B. Now let's see choice C. If Greiley is not an elitist, then he has a high regard for the wisdom of the masses. Well, this is a little bit beside the point. Once again, like choice A, focusing on the word elitist, and I'm just saying if he is not an elitist, then he has a high regard for the wisdom of the masses. So if you're not an elitist, they're saying that you're at least going to be in this orange one. Maybe you're in this blue one. But it doesn't. Even if this was assumed, you could still have elitists that have high regard for the wisdom of masses, which might be a little bit against the word elitist. But this doesn't really solidify the logical chain going on here. Choice D, anyone who does not have a high regard for the wisdom of the masses, so that's anyone outside, in this, outside of the orange here, is an elitist, so is an elitist, who believes that if an artwork is popular, it is unlikely to be good. Well, no, well, that's saying, okay, if someone's out here might be an elitist and they might have views on art like Greiley, but it's not ruling out the possibility that Greiley couldn't necessarily be in here. So I don't like this choice either. Unless Greiley believes in democracy, Greiley does not have a high regard for the wisdom of masses. So unless Greiley is here, unless he believes in democracy, Greiley does not have a high regard for the wisdom of masses. Now what's the problem with this is, you're still not making a connection between this statement, this popular art that they're claiming that Greiley thinks if something's popular, it's unlikely to be good. This one still doesn't make the connection between that and high regard for the wisdom of masses or belief in democracy. So it doesn't connect the two parts of the statement still. So I would rule that out. And I feel really good about choice B.